Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to explain how levers and gears transmit the turning effects of forces, and this is for triple physics students only. In the last couple of videos we've been looking at moments. Remember that a moment is the turning effect of a force, and we calculate moment using this equation. The moment in newton meters equals the force in newtons multiplied by the distance in meters and the distance must be perpendicular from the line of action of the force to the pivot. In this video we're looking at how levers and gears can transmit the turning effects of a force. We're going to start with levers. I'm showing you here two examples of a lever. On the left we've got a hammer being used to remove a nail, and on the right we've got a crowbar being used to lift a plank of wood. Both the hammer and the crowbar are transmitting the turning effect of the force from one side of the pivot to the other. Now the key fact here is that levers are force multipliers, and we're going to look at that now. I'm showing you here a lever being used to lift a load. We're applying a force of 10 newtons to the right hand side, and the distance from this force to the pivot is 1 meter. On the left hand side we've got a lifting force of 50 newtons, and the distance of this force from the pivot is 0.2 meters. So as you can see, a lever allows us to lift a heavy object by applying a relatively small amount of force. By using this lever, we've multiplied our force by five times. So let's look at what's happening. Remember that the moment equals the force multiplied by the distance. On the right hand side, the force is 10 newtons and the distance is one meter. This means that the moment on the right hand side is 10 newton meters. The moment on the left hand side must also be 10 newton meters. However, in this case, the distance from the pivot is only 0.2 meters. That means that the force must be 50 newtons. Okay, now gears can also transmit the turning effect of a force. We find gears in lots of different machines, including cars. I'm showing you a pair of gears here. Gear A is connected directly to the turning force of the engine, and gear B is connected to the wheels. So this gear system will transmit the turning force from the engine to the wheels. You'll notice that gear B has twice the radius of gear A. When gear A turns, it applies a force onto gear B. The turning effect depends on the distance between the edge of the gear and the center. Because gear B has twice the radius of gear A, the turning effect of gear B is twice as large as gear A. This means that the turning effect of the engine has been doubled as it's transmitted to the wheels. Now I should point out that gear A rotates twice every time gear B rotates once. This means that the work done by the two gears is the same. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on levers and gears in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.